is going on guys welcome back to another video hopefully you guys are having an awesome day so yeah as you guys already saw when I opened the garage this this bad boy is back so let me give you guys a little rundown on as far as I'm sure you guys remember that I had this in my house and I was gonna fix it and I was gonna keep it but um, the Evo that's when the Evo blew up and I had some issues with my DSM so I ended up selling the show so I didn't have it that long it just pretty much sat in the garage so anyways let me give you guys <clears throat> let me give you guys a little quick story on what happened with this car so I had the car um, when I posted it up for sale you know somebody hit me up and they bought it for me sorry for the sorry for the me walking around but I'm gonna stay still now so anyway, so I, I purchased I purchased the shell because I was gonna fix it. I ended up not fixing it. I had all these other problems with these other two cars, so I ended up selling it. So I put it up for sale as a shell. Somebody bought it for me, and um, you know the person who bought it for me turns out you know we we were we're gonna become really good buddies. So um, he bought it off of me. He took it to a local shop here in Arizona. I'm not gonna say no names or. The shop's name, and I'm not gonna say the owner's name as well. So um, he he bought the car. He took it down to that shop, so it can get worked on. Um, from I from what I remember him telling me was his car that he had there previously. The shell had a lot of rust on it, so he needed another shell so he can swap all his things into. But originally, you know, the 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 shop owner was gonna do some work to his engine and. Pretty much, you know, work on everything, check everything now, make sure everything was running good. He did some head work and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, anyways, he took it. Uh, he took it to. He bought the shell for me. He took it down to the shop, and that was pretty much it. You know, that was that, which was I want to say two Saturdays ago. He hits me up. He's like, "Hey, man, what's up? You know how how you been? How you doing?" I'm like, "Pretty good, bro." Um, he tells me, hey, I got my, I got my DSM back and it's, I have it at my house. I'm like, oh shit, you know, like, hell yeah, sick. So, I was, you know, I, t I asked him, like, you know, so, so how is it? He's like, hey, it actually, it, it sucks, bro. So I'm like, you know, he's like, my car blew up already. I was like, you know, my head, I'm like, what the hell? So he tells me, he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, I might picked up my car. Um, I got my car. I picked it up from the shop and uh, I was in the freeway driving in 30 miles and it's like my, I, I think my engine's blown. So I was like, what the hell, you know? So he's like, um, I just, I'm, I'm hitting you up because I'm wondering if you can fix my car now. He's like, um, I don't want to take it back. <coughs> Sorry. He's like, I don't want to take my car back to the shop. He's like, I was, you know, I was driving my car. It started overheating in the freeway. You know, I'm, I, I gave him a call. I told him, hey, my car is doing this, doing that. And you know he pretty much told me to you know just drive it and and hopefully it goes away. So anyways, I have the DSM here now. It's at my house. Like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's a local shop here in Arizona. I am gonna say that, but I'm not gonna say the shop's name, and I also not gonna say the owner's name. Um, I don't know the guy personally, so you know it's it's either even though it was, if it was his fault. Or if it wasn't his fault, I don't know what the case might have been, but you know, personally, if I have my car at a shop and I pay you almost six grand to fix my car and something happens like that, driving it 30 miles, I'm gonna give you a hand. I'm gonna hook you up with whatever it might be. So, and honestly, I don't, like, I don't know honestly, like, what happened, you know, what was, you know, what actually happened to the car. Um, he told me he was driving the car regular and he was just trying to get it home. You know he was happy he picked up his car and then you know the car starts to overheat and then he just he told me he hears a big boom and, and the car really sounds like shit <clears throat> you guys seen that I do you know shit here and there to my cars that it's not supposed to be done that way but I do it because I mean they're my car so who cares if I break them I'm fine I'm, I'm the one that did it but um if I had my car at a shop you know and I pay you all this money and it breaks literally driving that out of your shop like you know I I'm not I'm not cool with that so yeah he hit me up he's like hey man just wondering uh you know if you can fix my car I want to take it to you I've seen I've seen you know your your cars your DSM or whatever and he's like and, and I, I want to take it to you I honestly 
don't think I could trust another shop. So I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, you know, bring it down. I, I usually don't work on people's cars. You know, I just work on all my cars. I'm going to be working on this now. And um, <clears throat> so the tow truck brought it, I want to say, like two, two or three days ago. I need to open the garage completely. Hold on. So the tow truck came and dropped off the car like two or three days ago. Um, he, when he had it at his house, he did send me a video. He started it up and, you know, it sounded like a really bad knock. So since the tow truck dropped it off, I haven't, I haven't started anything. I don't want to start it because, you know, I don't know. I don't want to make, uh, make more damage or do any more damage to whatever has already happened. There was, it was leaking oil like crazy from from the bottom of the motor so I want to pull it out and get everything checked out you know pull off the head I I convinced them you know not convinced them but I we're gonna do forge internals this time we're gonna you know get the block good and everything and then you know we're gonna get it good to where it's actually he can actually take it home and drive it and enjoy it not just drive it that, that I'm, I'm still holding on to that you know because it, it pisses me off that people take advantage of people like that but it is what it is you know now it's now it's at your boy 4G's house and um we're gonna take care of him so we got the young young over here he's chilling like a villain the white wheels a lot of people a lot of people been digging the white wheels so thanks everybody for that and they was still sitting we still haven't done shit to it so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go ahead and get started we got another beautiful 4G so stay tuned for that we're gonna we're gonna be doing the process here. We're gonna we're gonna get this bad boy going and get her on 30 psi up, 500 horsepower. I'm just playing. I don't know about the 500 horsepower, but we're gonna get her going. Time to save another another DSM. So let me get started. Enough talking. Alrighty, so I have it up in the air already. I'm gonna go ahead and drain fluids, coolant, transmission fluid, whatever is left of the motor oil. If there's any in there. And I'll catch you guys back in a sec. Alrighty guys, so I have the, some fluids draining. I have the coolant draining over there. I have the transmission fluid over there. I was going ahead and I was gonna drain out the, the motor oil, if there's any in there. But, this goddamn oil oil plug is so tight I can't get it with my regular so I'm gonna have to use a pry bar ain't that some shit that is cr so I was going to go drain the the motor oil but this this drain plug it is tight so I have to get a damn bar to pry it off to pry it off check this out look at that I'm putting force in that and it still won't get up, won't come off. Jesus, are you serious? Let's try this. Guys, this is tight. That has to be the tightest, the uh, tightest oil plug that I have ever loosened up and it's still tight. Man, that was crazy. Let's see what this oil looks like. This thing is no joke. I'm gonna get back to it and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I have everything drained out. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna record the whole process of me just taking it out because I don't want to bore you guys to death. So I'm gonna knock out the axles, you know, take off all the charge piping, intake, you know, all the wiring on the harness battery slave cylinder all that good stuff AC lines and I'll catch you guys back when I'm when I'm pulling her out so hopefully I can do this in 30 minutes to 45 so let me get to it guys I'll catch you guys in the jiffy I'll show you guys a quick little update I have all the charge piping off I have all the, all the fluids drained I just unplugged that AC line that's right there so she's pretty much ready I just gotta pull out the axles 
Um, still have a couple of little things like the exhaust to let um, let off the slave cylinder. A couple other little things, but she's almost ready. Pop out the axles and then I'll be ready to have her out. So just a little update. Alrighty guys, so she's ready to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up all the motor mounts and pop our ass off. Let's get it. So, alrighty guys, so we got her out, she outie. She's out. Now it's time to figure out what the hell is going on. So, check this out. I was I was leaning the mortar because I was started looking a bunch of spots of oil everywhere. I have to clean up the driveway, but <clears throat> check this out. For one, the starter is broken. See that? And check this out. Ooh, there's a huge hole in there. On top of that huge hole, check out that oil pan. Let me get my flashlight. Alrighty guys, so I actually pulled off the starter so we can get a better look of, you know, the starter is broken so we can get a little bit of better look of what we're looking at, so. What the f so that is gonna be it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video we have a lot of work up we had a lot we have a lot of work in our hands so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button if you guys haven't yet um, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one have a good day guys <music>